Now, boats are not the first thing that come to mind when you think of a Microsoft Flight Simulator, but they are a thing thanks to the power of mods and the uh, Flight Sim. Now, I know not everyone will take these completely seriously when it comes to the Sim. In fact, I know when I made the video on the cars, there were quite a few people that were not too impressed. But equally, there were many people that found it interesting and realised that these features are here for entertainment purposes only. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a few different boats. This is a premium mod, meaning that you will need to pay for it. It's a luxury boat, and it's made by a third-party developer, ADS. Or ADS. Now, it's priced around £10, so fairly expensive for what you get. But if you like to have a bit of a mess around in Microsoft Flight Simulator, then you may find it worthwhile. Now, the uh, functionality of this, the usage of it is not quite as straightforward as you might expect. We'll get to that further into the video. Just in terms of piloting the thing, you can see right here that if you have the wind up to create waves, then wind will have an effect on the functionality, the piloting of the boat itself. It does push it off to the side here. So I've set the wind to come from behind. Then it's not too bad. Of course, you can simply uh, use the boat without any wind at all and have a bit of an easier time of things. But overall, you know, there's a massive world in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We get to fly over it all the time. Sometimes it's nice just to get a bit closer to the ground. However, in the previous clip there, you saw that I took off from an airport located on the water. If you want to just choose a random location, such as the River Thames here, you'll find that things aren't quite so straightforward. I've set the altitude to zero feet, but nonetheless, you'll spawn right up in the air. Now, as long as you've got enough clearance and you've removed the damage model, you've disabled that, then you should be good to go. The boat will simply crash down to the water surface, tumble around a bit. And yes, I appreciate this isn't perfect, but again, this isn't really what Microsoft Flight Simulator is designed for. Yet personally, I do respect the fact that this is possible. Now, this particular boat is pretty well made. The boat itself is of a high quality. Inside the boat, you can see many of the panels are interactable. We've got a horn there. Uh, apologies, the sound didn't capture on that, but it's quite loud when you actually play that back. Over here, you've got a few other uh, switches that you can use. You can see that the uh, heads-up display there, the uh, speedometer and all the rest of it, they actually do light up. So most of these switches do serve a function, even if only a basic one. Elsewhere in the boat, we can see the hatch over to the right that is openable. As for the rest of the boat, you can see that is very well modelled. So yes, certainly of premium quality, even if functionality might be somewhat odd due to the nature of Microsoft Fly Simulator. Now, to, to drive this thing, you use the rudder controls to uh, move left and right, or port and starboard, and the uh, throttle up and down, obviously, to uh, get a bit of speed or uh, come to a stop. So yeah, if you want to drive some boats, this is a rather nice opportunity to experience various locations of the world, from London to the Caribbean, and indeed many other places. Now, unfortunately, these mods are not available on the Xbox, so uh, yeah, they won't have an option there. But if you're on PC and you do want to try them out, there are quite a variety of different boat packs available at the moment. The speedboat seems to be the cheapest one, although I think that's still a fairly little bit pricey, the other packs certainly get quite a bit more pricey still. Some of them going all the way up to very close to 30 euros, which, you know, personally speaking, I think is a bit too pricey for what you're actually getting here. Although that said, if you're really into this, there are quite a few boats available in each of these packs. And whilst I haven't tried out all of these, they do appear to have a similar or if not the same functionality as the luxury speedboat we saw at the beginning of the video. Now, if you're looking for free options, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of that. Heading over to the website flightsim.to, we can see there is a tugboat tour here and another tugboat down here. The 1AA tugboat is the latest one. The top one is from October. That one, the 1AA one is from December, and that's the one I used right here. Now, the instructions say this is a tour, so we're to load the flight in, the saved flight, and use that. But unfortunately, it really doesn't all go to plan. Now keep in mind that this tugboat is free. You can see it's got absolutely no cockpit whatsoever. If we switch to the external cam, we can see that the tugboat is actually flying above the waves. So my first thought here 
was that just maybe something had gone wrong with these saved fly that maybe since this was created i believe back in december there has been a few sim updates since then or a world update since then and that maybe somehow that had interfered with the uh, flight plan so possible new york certainly looks a bit apocalyptic there but again overall yes it's free but it does seem to be of rather low quality you can see even the thumbnail there is very very blurred I'm trying to use it like I did with a speedboat, we're choosing another location here. I'm going to park up near the HMS Queen Elizabeth. Uh, this is another mod, by the way, the carrier there. And once again, unfortunately, this boat spawns right up in the air. Now, unlike the speedboat, this one doesn't crash down to the ground. So that basically renders it completely unusable. What a shame. Meanwhile, you can't spawn on a runway here. You can see you cannot uh, take off from a runway with a selected aircraft, which is a bit frustrating, but with a little bit of fiddling around, you can set up an approach to the runway. I think this would need to be set up very accurately though, because unfortunately on this particular occasion, I missed the runway and crashed down on the ground. Nonetheless, with a bit of experimentation, you may find you can use the tugboat, although for me, I didn't really have much luck there. Overall though, I think the speedboat was a very nice purchase. Yes, again, I will say £10 a little bit pricey. I tend not to focus too much on price for these sort of mods, but when it comes to something like this, that is uh, purely for just, you know, entertainment purposes, just purely for messing around, you may find it a little bit on the pricey side. But nonetheless, personally, it's definitely something I'm going to use uh, from time to time, if nothing else. And yeah, it's quite a lot of fun piloting down the River Thames and through London and also a bit of nice riding through the Caribbean at sunset too. So there we have it. All the links you need are in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.